So here we are at our spot that we are going to set up camp. Travis is going to attempt to convert me into a hammock guy. You can see, show everybody what we, kind of how you've picked this spot, Travis, and why. Since there's two people and we plan on having a fire, of course, if it's possible, obviously, you never really can guarantee that. We're going to do a triangulation with our hammocks. Uh, that way we both can share the fire. So I picked this tree here, and then either this tree or this tree, whichever one. I don't know if this one's sturdy enough quite yet. But, and then back to where he's packed up here. So we're going to triangulate our hammocks in this section here. Who knows? Might change it up. <laughs> we'll see. But, but it's going to allow the fire right here in the middle. Yeah, right there in the middle. Cool. We might, we may not have fire. We may. I don't know. It's uh, supposed to be raining throughout the day. Hasn't started in yet, but uh, we do have an overcast, so who knows? We might get some rain. But uh, I want to show you guys this. This was a uh, really something pretty cool. As uh, Travis was sitting there talking about how he was going to pamper me on this trip to convert me over to a hammock guy. Look at all this great stuff. The guy surprised me. Got me a hammock. Got me a alpine storage bowl. Got me some rope. I mean, he is definitely taking care of me. I can't can't express you know how much that means to me. That was uh, that was really awesome. He didn't have to do that. We got our hammock set up. Travis has walked me through how he does it, and I'm going to follow his instructions 100%. He is definitely the guy that knows about it. So, I'll tell you what, I was very nervous, obviously, about using a hammock because a lot of you guys know that I get motion sickness real easy. So, I was very, very concerned about that. So I climbed in this, lay back, close my eyes, and I mean, it's swinging a little bit, but nothing that's really bothering me. And the thing is, is I'm so low to the ground that I can just put my leg out like this and completely stop myself from swaying at all. And I can't express how much warmer you feel in here. I, there's literally about a five degree difference when you're in that thing. I'm very excited about this. I want to see. I think I'm going to have a really nice, really nice sleep tonight. I really do. Maybe you'll be able to sleep all the way through it. You never know. You never know. My, I, I might sleep better out here than I do in my bed. Boy, my wife would be pissed. <laughs> Maybe a barrel. <laughs> Sorry, honey, but I'm going to sleep outside in my hammock. <laughs> All right, so we've got our camp site set up. Travis has got his tarp laid over. Hammock out. He's got it. I actually kind of like how he's done it because he's got it to where he can actually hang out in there with his fire going and everything else. And yeah, I, I definitely like how he's got it set up. I've got mine set up in such a way that it's more just like an A-frame. If you see it or not. And on the other side, got it pinched off like that for the, uh, the wind and possible rain. But, the problem is, is the way I've got it right now, is I can't sit in there and enjoy the nice fire the way that Travis can. But if it starts raining, I can jump in there a lot quicker and Travis has got to sit out here in the rain and pull his tarp down. <laughs> I'm praying. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's the only way to know for sure. Just try it. I don't feel like I can get as much down on pressure like this. Bigger tips working better. It's not drilling this much. Could be too wet still, I don't know. shame because right when you hit that outer crust it was starting to get good thick smoke that was when you were starting to generate some heat then it's my tip busted here maybe we can salvage it up start out building some heat here piece of willow for Travis and broke this off and inside here is a little wood grub and I asked Travis if he wanted it he said if I find two of them in there that he's gonna try it so I'm gonna work hard and see if I can find another wood grub in there so that way Travis will try this either way I'm gonna eat this wood grub all right we can only get one wood grub so Travis lucks out on this one, not me. <coughs> I think they taste good. You want to I mean, wash that down? No, not at all. I they don't taste bad. They really don't. Oh, man, I don't believe it. They kind of have a um, almost a buttery taste. What? I'm not kidding. They, they really do. They have like a buttery taste. 
Now you're going to make me go look for one. I think we should go look for some. <laughs> Let's go do it. All right. For the time being, we are done with the uh, wood grub <laughs> hunt. Travis is back at the hand drill. He's going to try a piece of willow now. While Travis is messing with this, I'm going to actually go cut myself up a couple things and I'm going to try something that I made up. I made one of those antler trail rods, but I put a divot in it right here as a handhold for a bow drill. So I'm kind of curious to see how it's going to work. So while he's messing with that, I'm going to go gather up a few things. Pockets full. It just eats that drill. Yeah. There's so many fibers in that thing, it just creates major friction. I've seen it too. Wave on it just a little yeah, bit. Yeah, going to. Nice. Yeah, cramp. <laughs> Good job, man. Thank you. I don't know, I just love this mowing. Blow on it real quick. Let everybody up. see that ember. Get down in there glowing. I don't know if they can see it or not. Yeah, I can see it. You can see it in your screen. Yep. Mm -hmm. Maybe yours comes in better than mine. I don't know. Well, definitely learned that um, mulling on mulling just burned through it real fast. But that mulling with the uh, the willow actually oh, was real you nice. Seriously. 